Welcome to Crystal Linford Get Going Guides. Uh, this episode is we're going to be looking at WordPress and to manage menu systems within your WordPress setup. We've looked at making pages before and they appear on a menu, uh, but you can end up with more pages than the menu would allow and it can look a bit crowded and ugly. So what we want to do is to manage uh, how it looks and how we navigate through this. So first we want to go to the appearance uh, button and go down to menus. Now the first thing we want to do is to type a name for what menu system we want to use. So I'm just going to call this my menu and I'm going to create uh, that there. So I've now got uh, my menu there. I then need to tell it that the menu I want to use, because you can swap between different pages and different WordPress accounts, and I'm going to choose my menu as the main account there. So as I scroll down, we can uh, see we've got some, I've made a few pages, and we're going to be looking at categories. Now to put on your menu, you need to make some categories. So if we go to posts and go to category, you want to make up a new category. So I'm going to call it first cat, and I'm not going to worry about the slugs and or descriptions at the moment, and just add a new category uh, there. And you can see that it appears here. I can edit it and delete it if I uh, want to change my mind later on. And I'm going to make uh, another one, second cat. So I'm going to make a few uh, categories uh, at this point. So. So I can see it, I've got it there. Now if I go back to the appearance and menus, you can see at the bottom, if I view all, my categories have come here. If you, the default is most used because I haven't used anything at the moment apart from uncategorized. Uh, you need to click view all, so just remember to do that. So now, what I want to do now is to add a menu item. I want to add items to this menu. So all I do, is click on the categories that I want and add them to the menu. And now you can see that they've appeared there. Now if I go back to visit site, oh, got to remember, always press save menu, always forget to do that, just to update it so it knows what to do. It does give you that warning message. And now when I've got here, the menu system has now changed from the default one uh, which we had in the page setup to first cat and second cat. So I've made these menu items. So what I want to do now is to now to make drop down items for it. So these are pages. So categories are the things that go horizontally along. Uh, but now I want to change, add these pages to the menu. So I just add the pages to the menu, the same as I added the cats. And you can see that they appear here. Now I now need to say what of these menu items do I want these to be dropped down. So I'm going to have my first page under first cat and you just drag and drop it and you see you get this little indent to show how it works. And I'm going to have the third page under the second category. So let's save that and see what we've got here. So you can see I've got first cat and now my new page has appeared there second cat my third page. Because I haven't allocated the second page to a category yet, uh, it's still appearing on the menu. And so the second page still hasn't been aligned. So these are drop downs, but I can also make one drop down to spawn a side window. So I can take this and make this an indent from there. And then I can see that I get a pop out. So if I save this, I can then view the site and first cat, if I go there, it pops out a sub menu from there. Second cat goes to third page and so I can just click on the pages that I want and it will take me to the pages that I've got and I can just thumb around at any point from there. And that's as easy as it is to make menus. The important thing is just to go to the menu and you can look at that and you can just change your mind later on. So if I now want the second page to appear in the second menu, second category menu, I can just drag and drop it 
save it and now when I visit the site Second Cat will now have those. So I can just rearrange the navigation of these sites at any time. So menus are really good, uh, very important to uh, set up well and uh, then you can work with them uh, to your heart's content. So find me at www.chrislinfordco.uk You can find me on iTunes and YouTube and I shall see you for the next episode.